The people of Akwabanya, the people of uh, Selakofe, the people of Keta are currently uh, living the aftermath of the tidal waves. But this is not the first time we are recording tidal waves on the coasts of Ghana in particular. In the following um, analysis, our head of research at City TV and City FM, Nathan Kuo, has been doing some analysis and tracking the historicity around tidal waves in Ghana in recent times. Here is what he has to share with us. The responses to incidences or episodes of tidal waves have usually been, first of all, a reaction or a response from NADMO. You would usually find NADMO giving a few relief items here and there. The conversation would usually get elevated to the point of relocation. There have been incidents or episodes where um, housing units have been built, people have been moved about and all of that. If you go back a few years, some of those episodes have been there. People have been moved to new places so they can start new lives. Of course, there have been times where there have been, there, there's been resistance from the victims. And even last year, you had a very, very huge one that had Parliament even talking. The MP, uh, uh, Jifa Gomashi, was speaking. Alexander Peño Markin was in the mix. And all of it was about trying to make sure that one, people were safe. Two, the episodes would be stored. And three, there would be a a lasting solution to all of this. There have been conversations around sea defense projects. I remember last year, the housing, the works and housing minister, Francis Asensubachi, said government was committed to completing the Keta sea defense project. The responses have been, like I said, usually first level relief items. Then in some cases, there have been relocations. But the overall solution to this, and many of the experts have said it, is to build a proper sea defense project, is to make sure that activities are checked. Because when you go through the causes of tidal waves, you find that even though it's, it's beyond human control, i.e. waves and all, you cannot really control waves. But the factors that worsen the situation are human activities, people are winning sand, the, and, and that you know, makes the beaches very susceptible to erosion. And so when the waves are high and they are strong, then they cause a lot of damage to the houses that have been built very close to the sea or whatever water body we are talking about. So that's really the response. But